well, I'm going to be selfish and take care of myself more, which I haven't for a decade. Well, I would expand that to, to really to everybody. I'm going to tell you what. I mean, you owe it to yourself, everybody, right. whether you've been wounded or not, right. wherever you are in life, because the fact of what you just said, you got to remember this. If you don't take care of yourself, you can't take care of the other people around you. Right. And, and so you have to. You have the, to take yeah. care of yourself. You know, my simple thing, and, and my wife knows this about me, like if I don't work out, I'm I'm not a good. I'm not. I'm not. A, I'm not the same person, right? I'm not a good person. Yeah, I'm not a good person. Like, you know, but but really, if I'm not taking care of my health, then everything else kind of starts falling yeah. apart. And so, yeah, you got to take care of yourself. And if you don't take care of yourself, then you can't take care of the people that you care about. And and so that's the duty, really. And that's what I wanted to talk about a little bit today. And what I was saying before about if you're feeling it, pull over. And that's the thing. Like you can't expect anything of anyone else if you can't if. If you can't show up at work on time, like why should your staff? And if you don't take care of yourself, then then why should you expect to take care of anyone else? And we all have support, yeah. you know. And I'm I I know I'm I know I'm hammering this a little too hard, but dude, I'm 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 learning a hard lesson here, and I'm trying to avoid. We all I think have to learn it, but there's like there's you can learn it harder than others, <laughs> and I think I'm learning it the really hard way. <laughs> Because I am a public person, like, like a uh, private in uh, in Canada we call him Bloggins. Bloggins is like Smith in, in the army. So if Bloggins is having a rough time, he doesn't have to go on the radio and tell the world. He doesn't have to go on the Jocko podcast and tell the world. But he has to tell somebody, and that's the biggest thing. You think you think it's scary to go to a therapist who is a trained professional? Like, think of a therapist like going to the rifle range and learning from the master sniper. That's what you're doing. You're going to learn how to shoot, except it's for th- for your mind. Would you not go to the range to learn from a master sniper if you want to be a better shot? Of course you fucking would. I, I'm a master sniper, and I'd go to the range and learn from a master sniper right now. That's what a therapist or psychiatrist or psychologist or counselor, any of them are professionals in the mental game of life. Now, I'm not saying all are equal as well. If you don't like one, fire them and get a different one. But start there and start looking for the help that's available and don't put it all on yourself and again if you think that's embarrassing going to a stranger which is actually pretty easy when you actually get in the room and start talking you find you might they might have tell you to shut up because their hour is up um try going on the radio or the jocko podcast or writing a book like you know i put out a lot of my warts in that book too and i'm still learning and I've got all these resources, so you know it's not it's not it's not no one's too proud, no one's too tough. 